back to my channel. It's Hillary Jubilee. If you're new, we talk about manifestation, conscious creation, and the law of assumption, of course. If you're into those topics, hit subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment down below for me. Today's video is about affirmations for overwhelm and anxiety. So our experience of the world and our, ex our experience of our reality is dependent on what state we're occupying and what consciousness, what level of consciousness we're at. So if we're experiencing anxiety or overwhelm, that's a state of being that we're occupying. It's not who we are, right? And it's not a fun place to be. So hopefully this video helps. Um, you can say some of these affirmations when you are feeling that way. And it's important to know that you're feeling anxious or you're feeling overwhelmed, but you're not overwhelmed and you're not anxious. That's not who you are. It's a state of being that you're temporarily occupying and you can exit <laughs> that state of being or state of consciousness um, if you intend to do so. And if you don't, if you prefer to occupy a more lovely state of being or state of consciousness, then these affirmations are for you. Okay, so. I always get things done in perfect timing. I am safe and secure. I deserve time to myself. I am equipped to solve any and all problems. I am loved. I can get through anything. I am stronger than I think. I am enough. I am calm and at peace. So with these ones that are saying I am calm and at peace, and things like that where you're saying like I am and something the opposite of what you are you know even if it feels like a lie to you at the beginning similar to other affirmations that you're saying you don't necessarily fully have to believe them at first but if you keep repeating them eventually they'll ring true to you and you'll start to feel that way if you persist in 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 saying them usually that can bring you into the state even if it doesn't right away um, even if it feels wrong right away or feels off, um, if you persist with it and you just keep telling yourself it and surrender and surrender and just keep telling yourself, eventually you will start to feel the way that you're telling your, your subconscious or you're telling yourself that I feel this way. I'm telling you, I feel this way. <laughs> and eventually you will calm down. Now, I do want to say if you have um, like actual diagnosed mental health issues, this is obviously not medical advice. So if you feel that you need actual professional help, then I am all for, you know, using the tools that we have in our 3D reality. We have tools like if you actually feel like it's really, really bad and you need extra help other than using your own mind, then I would never tell somebody to, you know, only use affirmations or only use the law of assumption if you're in despair and it's really bad then there's no harm and there's no shame in asking for professional help i just wanted to add that in because just because that's it's, it's helpful to know that like there are options out there um if you feel that you need meant like help for actual serious mental health issues so if you try affirmations and you try using the law of assumption and you try bringing yourself out of things using your mind for a while and it's not working then you might want to seek actual professional help uh anyways okay so back to the affirmations all is well i've got this i am worthy i am relaxed i get calmer with every breath i take I surrender and let go. Whenever something is bothering me, if I'm anxious, overwhelmed, or if something is just irritating me, I find that surrendering and letting go, I surrender, I surrender. Because if you're if you're holding so tightly to this thing and you're resisting, 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 hi Bams, then it just, you know, what you resist persists. So if you surrender to it, I let go, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. Like go for a walk and just 
don't wear your headphones or if you do just listen to like something with no lyrics and just I surrender I surrender and you'll start to feel a wave of relief wash over you because if you just let go let go let go I let go I surrender I let go I surrender and let go I surrender that and Ho'oponopono which I have a couple of videos on but basically the prayer is four phrases and it goes I am sorry please forgive me thank you and I love you so if you repeat that or I surrender I surrender and let go I surrender and let go or any of these other affirmations you know it should start to give you a wave of relief and make you feel a little bit better another thing that you can do when you're feeling that way is to meditate so I'm probably gonna keep preaching this <laughs> because I just I cannot explain how much meditation has helped my state of being if something is bothering me and I'm like feeling that sometimes I'll feel anxiety in my chest if I'm feeling unwell in some way emotionally then I know that I have that tool of meditating or I have the tools of well there's so many tools that you can use but I have you know tools in my arsenal that I can use to feel better even if I meditate and I'm like feeling angry or feeling irritated or feeling annoyed by the end of the meditation I at least feel a couple degrees better so if you're somebody who says oh I don't need to meditate like I can't meditate it's too I just keep thinking it's like yeah it takes practice you it's just like anything else the, the more practice is a discipline it's a discipline of your mind it's not going to be easy at first so just telling you if you meditate it's not necessary to get what you want but it sure makes it a lot easier to maintain a stable state of being in my experience and if you're looking for certain meditations i'll said it before i'll say it again dr joe dispenza i would be doing you a disservice if i did not tell you to march your bum down to the bookstore or get audible and download becoming supernatural by dr joe dispenza a disservice if i did not tell you to do that do not ignore this <laughs> it's, it's the mother of all books um love neville goddard but this is a more uh modern version where you know dr jo joe dispenza merges science and spirituality and you know he just makes it all make sense you know so yeah he's just you should also check out his uh youtube channel because he has hundreds maybe thousands of testimonials of mainly people with you know overcoming serious health challenges people standing up out of wheelchairs uh serious you know incurable diseases cancer lupus things like that and curing themselves with these things and you know doctors are in shock and awe like how did you shrink your cancer tumor and make it disappear you know just by meditating so anywho read those books read he's got you are the placebo becoming supernatural and breaking the habit of being yourself and i'd say becoming supernatural is the best one i think it's the newest one anyways this is uh, a rant i'm just going on at the end of this video about Dr. Joe Dispenza and his books, but I'm just um, reading Becoming Supernatural while on Audible. And yeah, I'll probably be talking about that book again because there's so many gems in there. And yeah, I think I'm done blabbering along. So hopefully those affirmations for anxiety helped you read that book as soon as you can. You will not regret it. <laughs> and I love you so much. You are loved. You are worthy. You are safe and secure and you can overcome any obstacle. Thank you for watching. I love you very much and goodbye.